Hey there, welcome to Divine Goddess by Sage. I am Sage the Intuitive, and I am here to do a timeless love reading for the sign of Virgos, my fellow Virgos. So we're going to dive into love and see what we have um, coming up for you guys. These messages could have been something that has happened in the past. You could be going through it in the present, or you may be going through it in the future. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment as well. I am available for private readings. My information is in the description box. So let's go ahead. Um, if and, and if these messages don't resonate for you, check your other placements. This is Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Um, so check your other placements if these messages um, don't resonate for you because they are general. So every message will not resonate for everyone. So let's get started. What is going on with Virgo's? In regards to love, please. Okay, Virgos. So the first card out for Virgos was trust. A need to trust in the divine plan. Um, so this is a, this is talking about trusting in the plan regardless about other things that are going on around you or outside of um you um trusting in in the divine plan making sure that um you are believing that the things that you want will come towards you the second card is red flag to tune, tune into the subtle energy you are receiving about this situation so you need to listen to your intuition listen to your gut about whatever this love situation is and then we have purely um physical sexual attraction fire and passions run fast and burn fast without other elements so this is about potentially a situation that could definitely be a sexual um sex only type of situation but we're going to go ahead and see and we have to understand that when um, a situation is just based on the physical they sometimes come in really fast but they also leave just as fast as they come in so let's see why is the trust here why are we asking virgos to trust in the divine plan what is going on in love for virgos All right, Virgos, cards are talking. So let's see what is going on. So I think that a lot of, a lot of um, Virgos have been um, going through some type of separation or longing for someone. And you may have been um, maybe single for quite some time, or you may be um, feeling like you're longing to be in some type of relationship and you're feeling like this is not going to happen for you or it's not happening for you at this particular moment so you're losing some type of trust this is also putting you in a lack mentality because you're taking it personal that you're not in um a commitment at this time but what's happening is is that there is some um karma that is being cleared out there's some justice that is working in your favor things are balancing out and that's it's not necessarily that you are lacking anything you definitely aren't lacking anything it is just that um some things have to clear out in order for you to get what you need and what you want um, you, there could be a lot of fear that some of you guys are sitting in. Some of the Virgos are sitting in this this time of um, being fearful. Um, and when, when because things aren't working, you're feeling like there you're being rejected. There's abandonment and loss and um, rejection issues that that are coming from um, this lack. There could have been some type of external parties. This card is talking about trusting in the, the divine even when there are some external things that could be um potentially trying to stop the situation um or stop you from getting the love that you want so trust in the divine even if there are some external parties that are trying to influence it some some of you guys need to um practice some form of forgiveness some of you are waiting for some type of apology for some from someone um, but again, I always say that forgiveness is about 
you and not the other person so some of you guys are waiting um for some type of apology and you want some type of reunion with a person that you have a soul tie with or you're desiring to be with someone that you have um that you can have some type of soul tie with but you're going to have to trust in the divine in order for that to happen um for you because divine the divine plan is is here for a reason so why is the red flag here let's talk about this red flag because something is happening in this in this situation and i feel like this what's happening in the situation is that you're not trusting this plan and um it is causing you to think of things that are not necessarily true um about yourself but also about a situation when it comes to love that these these things are not even really um really true for your situation so you're not listening to the messages that are being given um to you so let's see what is happening for our virgos you had a lot of cards come out so i'm just gonna flip them over so um some of you guys may have been re maybe regretting actions of things that have happened in the past or maybe the person that you were dealing with is regretting um some of those actions maybe you're regretting the fact that you didn't pay attention to the red flags you were wearing rose colored glasses so everything here was an illusion so you thought things were a certain way when they really weren't so you weren't paying attention um to the red flags you could have been dealing with the fire sign um a leo aries or a sagittarius they may, may, may mean something to you that may not your spirit guys are definitely here working with you so you have to listen to your intuition listen to your gut but your guides are here guiding you as well so even though all these red flags could be here there um you're being guided regardless um of it you or your person could have been sitting very much in your ego at some point um just looking at things from the outside uh things that are just okay this is so beautiful i want this or whatever but some of you have taken us a, a minute to stop and look in the mirror or your person has taken a minute to stop and really look in the mirror and reflect back towards themselves what was coming um towards them because someone was definitely um clinging on to what was familiar something that kept them in their comfort zone so you're absolutely trying to cling to something or your person is clinging to something that is familiar which is again a red flag if you're used to people acting a certain way towards you then you are going to cling on to that um because that's what's comfortable for you someone in this situation was not making a decision um, about which way or the other they were not making a decision so again potentially a red flag that you may have noticed but i feel like a good amount of you again about reflecting and looking in a mirror some of you went in and kind of looked in the mirror because you want some type of unity you want a union um to come towards you so, uh, many of you are absolutely open to receiving this union or some of you are is saying that you need to be more open to receiving the union that is coming towards you um for a good amount of you you're going to get some type of communication and it's going to be a fast communication and it's going to be from someone that you want to hear that communication from and they're going to come in and they're going to give you um they're going to let you know what their purpose is for you being in their life for them being in your life um, so someone definitely is going to come in and they're going to come correct. So you need to just follow your gut intuition um, and your gut and your intuition to see what is going on here. Let's see why the lessons of Mars is here. So why is the lessons of Mars here? So someone here is feeling very guilty because there was some type of self-sabotage here. This was a situation that probably could have started out as solely a um, intimate type of situation. 
and it kind of came in fast and it left fast but whoever um initiated this situation or left it in us in a phase that it was only going to be a sexual situation is now feeling very guilty they're very much in their head that person could be an air sign a gemini libra or aquarius that may mean something to you it may not but again i take that as someone who is in their mind and their thoughts that are in their head you could also be dealing with a fellow um earth sign a taurus another virgo or a capricorn um as well that could mean something to you but i feel like whoever you were dealing with was very guarded they were very closed off and they were resisting you so they were just in for the intimate times and then they would leave out so as fast as they came in was as fast as they were leaving they were very guarded and maybe that's the red flag that you were potentially um missing because maybe you thought something was going to come from it and it did not come come in like you thought it would come in for you so this is why the divine is saying you know you need to follow your gut instincts um, but in either case, if this, this, all of this is balancing out for you, so that person could definitely be feeling some type of regret um, for the way that they treated you in the past. And I'm telling you, I promise you, they are feeling something. Um, they are going through something. So all of this didn't happen in vain. They are going through something, whoever this person is, or it could be you, but you definitely, um, something is definitely happening. I think that whole situation is bringing up, um, wounds for that person. Again, the guarded comes up. So you got two cards about being guarded. So whoever you were dealing with, it was, they only left it at an intimate relationship because they were trying to be guarded. I do feel now that whoever this is, is now awakened to the situation. So that's why you're going to get these messages of love saying, okay, this is what I really want because they have now awakened to this connection. And at the end of the day, you have the sun, there's strength and there's empowerment. So this person is going to have the strength to come forward. But Virgos, I think you have found your strength in this situation as well because you're having to learn how to trust in the divine plan and that takes strength and once you find that strength you're going to be empowered to move forward so i hope that that helps some virgos out there who may be struggling with the situation at this time or just wanting um, a relationship know that this um this is all part of a divine plan and the things that are happening is just balancing out that karmic justice because you're going to get that relationship and that reunion with someone who has a soul tie to you and you're gonna be you're gonna be the sun you're gonna be bright so that's what i have for you virgos um love you guys thank you for stopping by don't forget to like share and subscribe and definitely leave me a comment let me know if this message resonates for you um or not it doesn't matter but just leave me a comment um, I hope to see you guys soon. You guys stay safe and you be good. Bye-bye.